So today we will be reading verse 92 from Shri Shri Vilapa Kusumanjali. O Devi, when will you, being shy before your girlfriend, Order me through a hint to restring your dear necklace, which broke during your loving pastimes with Krishna. O oh, Devi, when will you, being shy, before your girlfriends, order me through a hint to restring your dear necklace, which broke during your loving pastimes with Krishna. Sri Raghunath is deeply absorbed in his Swarupa. There is no end to the stream of his visions. One by one, the transcendental pastimes trickle through his consciousness. In the previous verse, Tulasi rendered a wonderful service by playing the Veena. After arousing amorous feelings in the divine couple, she went out of the Kunja and became blessed by relishing the sweetness of their pastimes by looking in through the window. After the divine couple has completed their amorous pastimes, Tulasi understands that her time to render service has come. So she enters into the Kunja. Both Radha and Muhana are leaning against each other in the Kunja. After completing their amorous pastimes, Shringa Rasa means erotic love personified, has become an expert craftsman and has dressed them single handedly. Their clothes are disheveled. Radhika's blouse has fallen off. Sindur is smeared over their foreheads. Swamini's braid is half open. And her pearl necklace is broken. <clears throat> Mohana Radhe, Radhe. Rasmai, would you be so kind to 
repeat the words because devotees and Gurudev just. If you want, we can repeat all. Yeah, it will be very nice. <clears throat> so this is verse 92 from Sri Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali. O oh, Devi, when will you, being shy before your girlfriends, order me through a hint to restring your dear necklace, which broke during your loving pastimes with Krishna? Radhi, we can stop here just to make small introduction. So we can see here how Radhika and Mohan are drowning and diving in the ocean of their loving pastimes, intimate pastimes also. They are diving in Madhurya Rasa, in Parakya Bala of Madhurya Rasa, forbidden love. But also Radhika's maidservants, they are also diving in a Madhurya Parakya Bala of Radha and Krishna. So the position of Radhika's maid servants are very unique because they can dive together with Radha and Mohan in their exchange of love. And in these words, it's very clearly said that Radhika in that moment when she is in very intimate association with Mohan, she's a little bit shy because of her girlfriends. She doesn't want that they mock her because they will see her in this very delicate situation. But Manjaris, they are witnessing this. They are witnessing, they are serving, and in that way, they are fulfilling the purpose of their existence. The purpose of existence of Manjaris is to serve Yugala Kishore loving couple in many innumerable, unlimited ways. And this is the meaning of their life. So, Raghunath here like a Tulsi Manjari in his spiritual body is witnessing the situation, the lila, when the necklace from Shiradika's neck, pearl necklace, broke. Why it's broken? Because of very, very intense loving exchange. And she is witnessing it by looking through the holes of Kunja, Nivritini Kunja. And in the moment when this pastime stopped, just for a little break, 
Raghadika is giving the hints that Manjari, Tulsi, restring this broken necklace. And in that way, try to hide from her girlfriends what's happened. So this is very intimate seva. And only someone who is in intimate relationship with Sri Radhika can be in this position to be so close with Radharani and her lover. So devotees, when they receive Diksha Mantras, they receive also instructions and explanations about meanings of these mantras. And in the end of all mantras, there is a beautiful prayer where devotees should pray to Radhika. You already engaged me in this confidential secret, Japa. So please be merciful to me and allow me to attain the perfection of my existence and become your maidservant. And please, because you are so kind, take me always with you, nearby you, like your shadow, and allow me to serve you. So this is the Sadaka prayer for attaining Swarupsidi, for attaining perfection. And perfection for those devotees who are hankering for Manjari Bhav to become Radha Dasi of the Dasi of the Dasi of the Dasi is always burning in their hearts, their, their desire. And they are very thirsty to attain this. So, from the words of our Acharyas, we can learn many things because they are opening the secrets of this special Madhurya Rasa, Parakya Bhav, forbidden love. And no one who is not in this position of witnessing this beautiful parakya bhav between you, Galakishore. No one who is not in that position can help others to come to look through these holes of Kunja and to witness this kind of intimate, confidential pastimes. And this is the special kripa which only Radhika and her maidservants can give to eager sadaka. So Raghunath here is deeply absorbed in his varup, but not only in his form. He is deeply absorbed in his feeling of Manjari. So it's not only med one pointed meditation on the form of the name, of the nature, of the dress, of the color is important for sadaka, but also to enter in the feelings of Manjari, Bhav. These feelings brings devotee specific feelings will brings devotee in the proper mood 
of service. Because the service can be done only when the proper mood is present in the heart. And these feelings of Manjari Baba has to be infused in very close association with those who are already diving in that ocean of Manjari Baba feelings. This is important because when we say Gopi Bhav, there is two kinds of Gopis, Sakis and Manjaris. The difference is uh, in their age, Sakis are older and automatically they have another nature and feelings. Manjaris are younger and automatically they have their own specific feelings in connection with Radhika. These feelings has to be infused in the heart of Sadaka who wants to attain Manjari Bhav. Practical example is, if you look the girls who have 10, 11, 12 years, they have some specific nature. Comparing with the feelings and nature of the girls who has the 14, 15 years. This is completely different nature. Even between 11 and 12 is a great, great difference. Persons who has a 10, 11 years, they are still in the middle of the childhood. So, there is Manjaris who are very young, who are in the middle stage of youngness, but the Sakis are older and they have specific feelings like uh, older girls. Why I'm talking this? Because we have to understand proper mood of Manjaris and from that angle, from that position, we should meditate on ourselves, following the feelings, way of thinking, and way of serving of the eternal perfect Manjaris. Gurudev many times is speaking that we should start to meditate on our form, name, color, and so on. And we have to start from that. Because we have to identify our soul with this eternal identity. But in this soul is also infused the feelings of that identity. The feelings of a young girl who has 11 years and so on. And from that position, <coughs> devotee starts to meditate on Lila Smaran. So, form, feelings, and meditation in something which has to come together in the heart of Sadaka, 
And by this kind of meditation and identification, slowly heart will be prepared. In the association of those who are already situated in their position. So this is the process which our Acharyas, Narottam Das Thakur, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Ananta Das Babaji, Narayan Maharaj, our Gurudev is always trying to teach us that we can practice it. But to practice something, we have to be aware of what I'm practicing, what I want to attain, and how to attain. And Raghunath here is addressing Radhika Devi, like her maid servant, like a maid girl who is a maid servant on oh, my Devi, but you are also Devi of your beloved. Most beautiful, most sweet, most shining. Radhe, you are the place of Krishna's pastimes. You are, you are alive in his senses. You are pacified his senses. You are only one who can do it. I know that. I witnessed that. And this is the reason why I'm calling you and dressing you, O oh Devi. And in this situation, when he's so many times, Raghunath is speaking, and repeating this word, Devi, Devi, O oh Devi, O oh Goddess, O oh Goddess, O oh Devi, O oh Devi, and so on. But each time according to some specific intimate lila. Why we are talking about this? That we understand that in every word is such a strong feelings, exchange of love, service, and the presence of persons who are completely immersed in ocean of rasa, madhurya rasa, specifically parakya bhav. We should feel what does it mean parakya bhav, what does it mean madhurya rasa, and what does it mean, Manjari Bhav? No one who is not, uh, anyone who is not, sorry, in this kind of rasa cannot dive deeply in the words of these acharyas who are embodiment of Manjari Bhava. Someone who is in a different rasa he will notice it and he will say, yeah, this is very interesting. This is very nice. But he cannot dive deeply in that rasa. This is the reason why we have to be one-pointed. And one-pointed means one-pointed in the heart, in the emotions. If someone wants to say, please, devotees, just jump. I don't want to ask, please say, any one of you to force you. Just jump. And 
we have to try to follow the mood, to follow the flow, the mellow, like Gurudev is saying, the mellow. Not jumping out of this mellow. Follow the <laughs> mellow of the words and follow the mellow of the commentary. Yeah. Shri Raghunanda is deeply absorbed in his Swarup. There is no end to the stream of his visions. One by one, the transcendental pastimes trickle through his consciousness. In the previous verse, Tulasi rendered a wonderful service by playing the Veena. After arousing amorous feelings in the divine couple, she went out of the kunja and became blessed by relishing the sweetness of their pastimes by looking in through the window. After the divine couple has completed their amorous pastimes, Tulasi understands that her time to render service has come. So she enters into the kunja. Both Radha and Mohana are leaning against each other in the kunja after completing their amorous pastimes. Shringa Rasa, erotic love personified, has become an expert craftsman and has dressed Swamini single-handedly. but their clothes are disheveled. Radhika's blouse has fallen off. Sindur is smeared over their foreheads. Swamini's braid is half open and her pearl necklace is broken. Rasamay, would you be so kind to read again this sentence, Shringa Rasa personified and so on and so on. Just this sentence. Yes. Shringa Rasa become an expert craftsman and has dressed Radhika dressed them, dressed them single-handedly. Their clothes are disheveled. Radhika's blouse has fallen off. Sindur is smeared over their foreheads. Swamini's braid is half open and her pearl necklace is broken. So, Shringa Rasa 
personified. He has become expert craftsmen and dressed them, Radha and Krishna, single-handedly. So personified Sringaras, we can say in one sense this is a Krishna. But there is another way of approaching to this. Sringar means dressing. When Pujari or at home, we are dressing our Takurji, we call it Sringar, putting a dress, putting ornaments, makeup, jewels, and so on and so on. This is Sringar for their pleasure. And here we can see, because we have to be focused on Lila, although Sringar means dressing, it also means undressing. Out of all dress, Shingarasa in the case of Yugala Kishore means also improper dressing. And when this improper dressing is present, which Baba very nicely explained in the next sentence, this is the sign of great intense loving exchange in Nivriti Nikunja between Yugala Kishore. And when they are not dressed, because they ripened all dress from each other, this is also dressing. Dressing of their emotions which can be visible on their faces, on their eyes, on their goose bumples, on their sweat, on their bodies. All these ornaments are Sringar, are dress for Radhika and Mohan also. And Baba is very nicely saying in Parakya mood with a lot of codes. Sringaras erotic love personified is expert craftsman and has dressed them single-handedly the exchange of their shringar intense love and their intense love is a craftsman which dress them how to broke the necklace, to broke the garland, to what you said, to dishevel all the clothes. And it can be relished through Kama Gayatri Mantra. And we can see that this parakya, love, which is present in the exchange of love between Radhika and Krishna, is also present in the words of Acharyas. Because the best way how we can relish parakya bhava is through parakya words. And for that, we need to go di to dive deeply in our own bhava, our own manjari swarup. So it's very, very interesting. 
I was reading this sentence and I was trying to, what does it really mean? What does it mean? How to do it? What, what is it? And suddenly came that Shringar also can means without clothes. To be decorated with emotional symptoms. And this is real decoration which Manjari wants to witness. And when the Manjaris are dressing Radhika, actually they want to see that all her dress is disheveled. That Sindura is not on the proper place. That Tilak is completely ups and down. The marks of Sindura are on the Krishna's body. So it means that Manjari Seva attain perfect perfection, super perfection. And in that way, Manjaris are dressing Radhika to be so attractive to her lover. And they, they mix all their and rip on all their clothes. So it's very confidential, very confidential, intimate. But meditation on this kind of words of our beautiful Acharyas, we can prepare the heart for meditation. If we don't understand the words of our Acharya, and if we don't feel the, what they wanted to say, the process of preparing the heart will be slower. Because each person who is writing something, he has some intention behind that. And this intention is not only visible on the words, literary. We have to feel what he really wanted to say. And when we are talking with Acharyas, they don't want to say only one thing or two things behind their words. No. They are diving in ocean of rasa and Mahabhav. So each word, each sentence is rasa and is ocean of Mahabhav. So it means that there are unlimited meanings and meanings and meanings. And this is the practical. Sometimes devotees are asking, what is the practical? This is the practical way of preparing the heart, connected with emotions of acharyas, and by their mercy and Radhika's mercy, sadaka, nelfit, can be ready slowly to properly dive in this ocean. Otherwise, one thing can happen. And Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati very nicely explained this. There is one, if we have a bottle or jar, jar full of honey, and this jar is from glass. We have a honey in the glass kind of jar, pot, I don't know the proper word. And if we think that we know how the honey is tasteful and relishable and sweet, just by licking outside of the glass of the jar, We cannot call it 
real relish. But if we open on the top of jar and put our nose to smell the honey, our tongue to lick this honey, and then we dive in that honey, then we can say, I'm relishing rasa, I'm tasting the rasa, I know what is the taste, and honestly to say, I never can be any more satisfied. But if we just link outside of the jar the glass, looking at the honey, but leaking outside, swimming on the surface, not diving deep, this is not, we are missing the point. This is not why Acharyas wrote and expressed their feelings in their beautiful Rasik books. So this Sringaras, this exchange of love is Sringaras for Radha and Krishna. And the symptoms after their love making, which is visible on all their appearance, is the best Sringar for them. And like many times, our Anantadas Babaji is saying, blessed is that Manjari. Blessed this Manjari who put such Radha and Mohan in such situation that they dressed each other with these emotional symptoms. Jai Shri Rade. Blessed is that Manjari. I just want to take that sentence and uh, sometimes there may be a question. Why this Ringara is so important when Manjari is actually taking the earrings, taking all the paraphernalia? Because Swamini's limbs are anyway so beautiful. Actually, Swamini's uh, parts are actually making the Ringara even more beautiful. So what it is for? We can see it from a, medi a meditation point. If you are cooking, you take different kind of ingredients and you meditate that it will be the most tasteful for the person who will eat it. And in this way, your meditation, your love is going inside your doing. So here we have a very clear experience from Srila Raguna in the form of Tulsi Mandri, because she is doing Sringara Seva with a meditation. Yes, let this eager be come and taste all this work all what i'm doing here is for his enjoyment because it's radharani's enjoyment when he is enjoying so that all the meditation in this shringara seva 
is going to that point. And here we can see actually it comes to the point that actually the real Shringara Ras, that all these ornaments are gone, disheveled, smeared everything around. This is actually the goal of Tulasi Mandri. This is her art. In the end, this picture is actually the goal to see the couple completely satisfied. Because the goal is not the act itself. No. It is said here, it will come now. I don't want to, to read that because it will come now, the proof. But actually the goal is not the act. The goal is actually that they will lose themselves completely. They will be most satisfied, even more satisfied than just come together and make love. So we can see that actually the meditation in the seva is coming to that goal. So actually it's Tulasi's work that actually comes to this end. And this, why Anandadas Babaji has to say it very clear. This mandri is so blessed, her seva is so blessed, you cannot express. Jai Shri Rati. Thank you very much. Please, if someone has something more. Yes. Rasa can be served only through Rasa in the kingdom of Rasa. Without Rasa, no, no one can approach Rasa. And Rasa is situated in the kingdom of Rasa. May I say something, Gurudev? Please. We see that that Manjari Seva is very important. Rather, you need. Manjari help before meeting and after meeting. When Madharani heard the flute of Krishna, she is not possible, it's not possible to her the meat, the put ornaments on the right way, on the right side. And Manjari must always be some, somewhere near, near the shadow of Radharani to help. Thank you, Labangalatika, because you remember us. <clears throat> On this another kind of Sringaras, when Radhika is so intense in her mood to meet the Krishna, She's alone taking all the garments and ornaments from her and looking so nice in this moment is the proof that a personified Sringar Rasa is such a beautiful craftsman. And that Radhika, like Goravani says, she doesn't need ornaments to be beautiful and sweet. But when she is taking out whatever Manjari put on her, she is becoming Devi. So brilliant, so sweet, so beautiful, because she is the embodiment of Madanakya Mahabhava. And that's her supreme ornament and dress.
So we can see dressing can be Shringar, but also taking out the dress, expressing the feelings of love and symptoms of love is also dressing. Covering with the feelings, this is a dress. Gurudev, I see you now. Radhe Radhe, can you listen to me? No, please. Ah, okay, good. Uh, my dear, I don't want to speak. I only want to listen to that. But I know it's a sharing and all devotees should share, so... I will say something, but really, I only want to listen. So beautiful. So, the word Shringara has many meanings. To decorate, we know that Shringara, decoration. But also, Baba writing erotic mellow. And also means to increase, to beautify. So <laughs> the mood is always Shringara Rasa, erotic mellow. Always do everything more beautiful and always increase. Increase the feelings. So you say so beautiful that actually this undressing is also decoration. <laughs> they are decorated with the marks of their highest amorous exchange of love. The Sringara Rasa became an artist painting a picture of the couple leaning each other to each other and all the body is decorated with the marks of their love making and that makes them more beautiful so that is also shringara a decoration when the clothes come off and the garlands are broken and the necklace is broken and everything is destroyed, then this is the Sringara, the erotic Rasa did that. <laughs> that is the result of the erotic, of the Sringara Rasa that everything get destroyed. And that makes everything more beautiful. All this decoration of Radharani and uh, dressing her and making the makeup and Goravani speaks so nice, she don't need that. She is beautiful personified. She don't need ornaments to become more beautiful. But it's like a nice present. The packing is also important. So, and Krishna, he enjoys the unpacking. Take off everything, this and that, and very playful. And I remember the Leela. When Krishna is playing the flute and every gopi in the heart listen, ah, he's calling me. 
and the mood goes high and they are not able anymore to dress themselves properly. And they put the kajal on the lips and the lips on the eyes and <laughs> they cannot make the braid and they forget left side one earring but right side no earring. Good. But the mood is more beautiful. The mood is increased. The feelings are increased. So when they arrive to meet him, then in his eyes, the, moti, the gopis are more beautiful than when they are dressed properly. <laughs> because of the mood, of the feelings, of the rasa. And here in this Nikonja, when the Manjari can see that, then she also understand that now time for service came again. Yeah, that is the goal to see that. Now I go back to listening. Rade, Rade. Thank you. Thank you very much, Gorachandra. It's so nice when the devotees follow and flow in the mellow, which is present here. And this verse is in mellow. It's in the mellow of specific lila. We don't have to go outside of that. It will come <laughs> later on. But now uh, the way how we can dive deep is should, sh it should be just to be concentrated and focused with all heart and mind and our spiritual existence in these words, these feelings and these sentences. Because in this, just one commentary, we can achieve everything. Okay, thank you very much. This kind of exchange doesn't make the heart painful. It's nourishing the heart. And this is also the art of bhajan, chanting, and meditation. And it doesn't go so fast. We should learn how to feel like a manjari, how to think like a manjari, and how to act. Act also means to talk like a manjari. And when my brother was talking, Gorachandra, I don't like to speak. I like more to, to listen silently. My brother, when you are speaking, when the other devotee is speaking, it's also silence. Because you are helping us to go in the mood, in the flow, in the mellow. And this is the mauna, silence. Because we are listening the jingling of Acharya's words. Last Sunday, Sunitiji was reading about jingling the ankle bells of Radhika. And we have here opportunity to listen and to be deaf for everything else, to listen the jingling of Raghunath's words, Anantadas Babaji's words, our beloved Gurudev's words, and all Ra 
uh, Raganu, uh, Rupanuga devotees. This is jingling, which will cure our deafness. Because if we cannot have direct darshan with Radhika, we can hear direct jingling of her maidservants, jingling of their tongue, and their words, because this is the jingling of their heart. But we have to tune ourselves. Radhe, sorry. <clears throat> Mohana is the very form of Shingara Rasa, erotic flavor. And even he is enchanted by the vision of Sri Radhika's body after their love pastimes. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adilila 4. I get beside myself of ecstasy when I behold the sweetness of her body after our pastimes. I get beside myself of ecstasy when I behold the sweetness of her body after our pastimes. Even now, this relish has not come to an end. Oh. This relish has not come to an end. There is no end of relishing Radhika's sweetness, because her sweetness is her dress. And this is because of her sweetness, her manjari is ad addressing her, O oh Devi. Your beauty, your shyness, your sweetness is the best dress, best ornament. And there is no end of this relish. Krishna tried to relish it, and he accepted the mood of Radhika and appear like Goranga. And he relished Radha Bhava so deeply, so intensely. But our Acharyas are telling that he couldn't find the end of her emotions. And this is the reason why he has to again, again, and again in the Nitya mood, always repeating mood, relish more and more, and he is going everywhere in the form of Goranga, in all universes, because he is not satisfied with the relishing of Radhika's sweetness. Nitya Lila, of Gora Lila, is present in this planet when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is here, but it's also present when he is not here physically for our physical eyes. Because he cannot be satiated with the relishing of Radhika emotions and emotions of her dasis. No end of this relishing. 
of Radhika's dress like sweetness. Swamini gives a hint to Tulasi. Tulasi, my pearl necklace is broken. Quickly restring it. The necklace was not broken by me, but by our pastimes. Swamini shyly says, Lalita and Vishaka will come here soon. Quickly restring the necklace before they have another reason to mock me. The Sakis make waves on the ocean of Prema by making jokes. In Ujwala Nilamani, it is written, the Sakis completely expand and nourish the love, the pastimes, and the enjoyment of Shishi Radha Mohan. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Without the Sakis, these pastimes cannot be nourished. The Sakis extend them and make them relishable. But only the Manjaris are eligible to render service freely and without hesitation. It is the nature of Mahabhav to make Mohana happy. And it is the nature of the Manjaris to make both Radha and Mohana happy with their services. Along with their services, they can also relish the sweetness of the Yugala pastimes. So Baba here very nicely explaining the different nature of girls who are very close to Shimati Radharani. One group girls are Sakis with their specific nature, feelings, forms and behavior. And it's completely another nature, another feelings, another behavior of Manjaris. So by reading this and meditating on these words, we have opportunity to understand and feel these differences in the nature of Sakis and Manjaris. I just wanted to say this. Meditation on the form is important, but meditation on the feelings, it means nature is important. And to act according to that nature. That. According to all the scriptures, Krishna is the most beautiful. But according to Srimad Bhagavan, his beauty is even more enchanting when he is with the gopis. 
יש לי שהוא כמוני חסד. קרישנה looked even more beautiful amongst the gopis. Like a great emerald, beautified by beads of gold. And Radharani is the most beautiful gopi. Where can you find anyone like her? In Shri Vishak Ananda Shtotram, Shiraguna Das has written. Shiradika, the daughter of Rishabhanu, is the beautiful sun that shines on the lotus flower of Mohana's amorous desires. And she is like the moon that shines on the heart of Krishna that is like a Kumuda flower which thrives on the moonlight. She is the excellent Manasi Lake where the swan of Krishna's mind swims. And she is the fresh monsoon cloud that creeps the Krishna Chataka bird alive. She is a splendid golden Yutika flower on the beautiful Tamil tree named Krishna. And she is a wonderful steady lightning strike in the fresh rain cloud named Krishna. In the summer, she is soothing camphor, sandal paste, and moonlight for all of Krishna's limbs. And in the winter, she's a glistening yellow silk garment on Mohana's handsome limbs. In the spring, she is the sweet form of vernal goddess of fortune that gladdens the Krishna tree. And in the rainy season, she is the lovely Malara melody that delights Mohana. In the autumn, she selects Rasika Rasikendra, Krishna, the only king of relishers of the Rasa dance, as her husband and enjoys the Rasa dance with him as Rasa Shri, the goddess of beauty of the Rasa dance accompanied by her friends. In the Hemanda season, she wanders around with Prince Krishna to fight erotic battles in which she assumes the form of Jayashri, the goddess of victory, and defeats him in a masculine way taking the masculine role during lovemaking. Whatever is beautiful, sweet, lovable, dear, to the heart, and desirable, Shiragunath has used as examples 
Oshishirada Muhanas, extraordinary mutual love, and their beauty and sweetness. The greatest remembrance is the pastimes of the divine couple and a practicing devotee should immerse himself in this rasa. Yugala vilasa smriti sara Narottam Dasa said During particular pastimes, the yugala will feel shy when the sakis are present. Therefore, even the sakis will sometimes order the manjaris to perform the more confidential service. Srila Narottam Dastakura sings. When will Lalita order me to softly fan them with their bodies when their bodies are studded with sweat drops of fatigue? I will see them in topmost bliss. Pratana. The maid servant's heart is filled with Shiradika's love and affection. She sits at her feet and quickly restrings the necklace. Swamini is most satisfied and says, Well done! How did you do that so quickly? There is no limit to Tulasi's bliss when she knows that Swamini is pleased with her. Now she knows that her service is a success. If I don't get a signal from my Ishtadev about whether my service is pleasing him or not. Can I then truly say that I'm doing bhajan? In my dreams, smarana, and visions, I want some experience also. This is a consolation in the life of a practicing devotee. How wonderful is Sri Raghunata's relish of these visions. It is as if he directly experiences all this. When the vision vanishes, he weeps and prays. Oh, Devi Sri Radhika. Hmm? Oh, Swami Nikandarike. When your beloved jeweled necklace breaks during your erotic pastimes in the Nikunja, you are too shy to show it to your girlfriends. So you order me through a hint to restrain it. How wonderful is the beauty of that ravaged necklace. I will restrain it with Rasika eagerness. This is the end of verse 92. 
Rati. The last sentence of Haripada Shila is explaining how seva has to be done. With rasic eagerness. This is the mood, this is the way of service. And Baba is giving very nice point here. If I don't get signal from my beloved deity about whether my service is pleasing him or not, Can I then truly say that I'm doing bhajan? If I don't please in my bhajan, my Radhika and her maidservants, which kind of bhajan I am practicing? And I'm striving, I'm crying, that they give me a hint that at least they accept little of my seva. Because, because without that hint, how I will continue? I need that hint. Without that hint, this spontaneous love cannot be present in the heart like a flow in the heart of devotee. Hint is nourishing this. Hint is giving enthusiasm. Hint is giving determination. He is given passion and patience. So this is sp spiritual psychology. <laughs> Sunitiji yesterday and Jayanandaji were talking about this. This is spiritual psychology, but not from the conditioned soul. This is the spiritual psychology of spiritual identity. And this is not psychological worships, which we try to heal our past wounds. No, this is spiritual psychology. We have to penetrate deeply in the ocean of spiritual psychology. And this bhakti is the personal process, it's not impersonal. I need your hint, I need your signal. To direct me, to nourish me, to give me a strength. Otherwise I'm lost. Gurudev, you said something I saw from your open eyes, but mouth, but we didn't hear anything. If it's connected with us. <laughs> okay, we will not disturb you. <laughs> your voice is not so strong. But you are giving hints. You, you give new realization to me that Mandiris are dressing to Swami. This is one singer. And uh, when Swami is going, and she is feeling the burden of the ornament, she starts throwing that. 
on the way. That showing how intense Avisad is there, this feeling comes. And today you add more things that when in Singar, if the Singar is undressed, that is also Singar. Yeah. Very, very beautiful. I am relishing that pastime, what you explained me, and I cannot come out. <laughs> I am stuck there. Wow. Me too, Gurudev. By your mercy. Me too. I I really today <laughs> realize this new. <coughs> feeling from you. That I'm very proud of this. You infuse you are infusing the feelings or in all of us, Gurudev. We don't need anything else. Very special, very special, Maxi. Swami give through her mouth that then there is no words to explain that. Yes. So only the Manjari Dasi who live with her, they understand and sometimes they share with very close association. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. My Dandavat and love, Gurudev, and embrace to you. Yeah. Thank you, Mandir. Thank you for this mercy today. So this is Raga and Anuraga. Raga is when we enter, but Ananda Das Babaji. Is actually writing here very nicely and very clear that we have to come fast to Anuraga, that we also get something back, some feedback, as we say here, feedback. Radharani's lotus feet back. <laughs> Her mercy comes back to us. We feel that she is accepting our seva, our endeavor. And this has to come to a flow, actually, like Goranga Sundara said so nicely. It has to come to a flow, because only when it's just flowing all the time through our heart, then we are in a very safe position. Because waves are always going. You notice that? Even in material world, <laughs> waves are going up and down, up and down. But in the spiritual sky, it's also going up and down, up and down. And these waves from the spiritual feelings, actually, if they enter our heart and flood our heart through Anuraga, then we are safe in good or in bad. Always stay in Seva. So we need this anurag, we need this taste, actually. This makes our seva full of life, full of hope. And then we know that our seva is successful because what a mantra wants to do, she wants that Radharani is happy because Krishna is happy. Only if we get this anurag, we can be sure, yes, it came to that point, actually. And this is what we also heard in the first part, when uh, Goranga Sundara explained so nicely that 
Um, this is also Shringara Ras when all Shringara is gone, actually. So this is actually the goal, the real goal. And this is Anurag. It's coming back. I did my endeavor and now it, it's coming back in the highest form possible. This is also Anurag, very high wave. So we need that. If we don't have this, our bhajan is lifeless. We need the mercy. Jai Shri Gurudev Ki Jai. Can I share a little bit? So today is a very beautiful, although I, I could not hear the first part of the past time. And uh, <clears throat> this Manjari was so special because Radharani does not feel shy in front of Manjari, but feel shy in front of Saki. And also Radharani may send some signal to Manjari, but not to Saki. Well, even though, even Radharani may not send, you know, send signal because Manjari is so connected and she feel it, Radha's mood. And whatever she need, Manjari could do this. And the Guru Dev is sharing any pastime Radha Mohan does always need Manjari or Kinkari. Like Gurudev say, after hearing some Virapax Manjari 16 bars about explain Kama Gayatri. So he say, no, any pastime Mohan is there and Radha is there. And Radha Mohan there and should be Manjari. So therefore, Karma Gayatri or even Karma Bij should be Manjari added. Therefore, Guru Dev's explanation far out. Karma Gayatri. Twelve. So as a, a kind of syllable. Twelve is Radha. And twelve is Mohan. And half is Manjari. Because without Manjari, how Radharani could do pastime? How Mohan did pastime? Because sometimes Mohan fainted. Radharani cannot do anything sometimes. And she need help for Manjari. And Manjari know how to uh, alive, how to wake up Mohan. Well, sometimes Radha may faint. And Mohan cannot do anything sometimes. So Manjari, help is always needed. So therefore, all pastimes, Radha Mohan's pastime, Manjari is necessary. And this is also a Goranga Mahaprabhu's special mercy. Goranga Mahaprabhu glorify Radha's glorification. And if we want to glorify Swamini, Radharani, then Manjari also should be together with Radharani. Then Manjari's glorification is also there. So therefore, uh, in Chaitanya Charita Murita, Radha's glorification is there. Also hiddenly or openly, Manjari's glorification is there. That Guru Devs explain this Kama Gayatri. Wherever Radha is there, should be Manjari there. Because Manjari is sometimes protecting Radhika. Sometimes Manjari guiding Radhika. Well, Guru Dev say, sometimes Manjari give blessing to Radhika. This is inconceivable 
for us. This is, uh, I think, gift of Goranga Mahaprabhu. This Guru Devs give us special mercy upon us. Rade, rade. So we can stop here. It's time. Thank you very much for your support, participation, blessings. What to say, Rade Rade.